Hi, my name is Caitlin, and I am just beginning this whole new um, practice of putting videos up online, so you'll forgive me if I'm a little bit nervous and um, trip over my words occasionally. Um, I want to talk to you about some things that have just been really on my heart lately. Um, things that I am passionate about that I really want to share with you because I feel, I just feel like it's a message that some of you out there hopefully um, will really take to heart and that may be helpful. Things that I've been learning in my life lately um, that I'm hoping can have, can be a blessing for you as well. Um, so this morning I was, um, I go to a, a Christian college and uh, a university and um, I was reading for one of my classes, I'm taking a New Testament class, um, but the thing about me is that I don't have a normal, uh, I did for a while have a normal Christian upbringing. Um, I was raised in a Christian home. My parents are both very involved in the church. Um, my my uh, sister is a Christian, um, and I am a Christian. Um, have been since I was four. I um, was led to Christ by my mom and just had this real passion for Jesus when I was little. Um, and then I grew up and I got older and um, things got complicated in my life and I found out when I was about 13 or 14 that I had bipolar disorder and um, that I was bipolar and depressed and um, I went through a really really dark time um, from about 13 to 15 years old it was it was quite literally hell for me. Um, I was really angry at God, and I was really angry at people, and I hated every everything and everyone. Um, even when people were nice to me, I just, I mean, I just wanted to be alone. I spent my life for a few years, really, um, locked away in my room, um, just seething inwardly, and. Um, unable to really open up to anyone and deal with the pain in my life. Um, I had some things going on at home that were really, really difficult for me um, on top of being bipolar. And I had very little freedom in my life um, to escape from that. Um, so I sort of went inward and it became this uh, spiritual darkness. Um, I got interested in vampires, um, before the whole vampire craze even, I don't know how it happened. I guess because, um, probably because when I was younger, um, I, I would self-injure. And so I became, this is like a really personal thing for me, but it's important to my story, so I'm sharing it with you. Um, but I became uh, sort of addicted to blood and needed to see it to feel grounded and to feel whole. And um, the only thing that ended up really stopping me, um, once it, it was really bad at one point in my life, toward the end of my teen years, I just couldn't stop cutting myself. And it was a real addiction. Um, and my mom was always there for me and she um, she was in my room one night and I was just a wreck and um, and she said Caitlin why are you doing this to yourself when you know that Jesus blood is enough why are you hurting yourself why do you feel like you need to see your blood why do you need to bleed to feel better because Jesus died for you and he died so that you wouldn't have to feel that pain so that you could take comfort in him and his love 
And so I just have never been able to cut myself without thinking about that first. And it's, it's stopped me a lot of the time from doing it. Um, and I don't struggle as much anymore, but I'm still bipolar and I still have my times. And, um, you know, everyone has their own cross to bear. Everyone has their own amount and kind of suffering to deal with in life. And so that that's kind of part of my story but I got into really dark things and um, turned away from God when I was about 15 and then I had to start going to college um, at this Christian University I did not want to go to um, I started there part-time when I was 16 and uh, and then I've been there since ever since then um, I'm 21 now, and I've gone through times when I've hated it there, and I've gone through times when I've really felt like it's been a blessing and a good thing that I'm there, and that it was divinely put in my life that I was supposed to go there. Um, but the long and short of it is that I went through really bad stuff, and it was all because I didn't understand who God really was and or who the divine was. I like to say the divine because I feel like as a Christian a lot of the time um, we get too hung up on the idea of God being a certain gender um, especially male. Um, I have a lot of trouble accepting the father image of God being the Father, which is biblically accurate. He is described in Scripture as God the Father, Jesus Father. That's all true. I believe that. But I think that sometimes the church overemphasizes the fact that he is only has male qualities. I don't believe that. I believe that God can also be seen in feminine ways. I believe that there are feminine aspects of God. Um, I go back and forth personally um, myself between calling the divine, which is sort of a cumulative term for them, that I, the divine um, being that is God, um, and, and also calling God goddess because goddess at times is much more um, comfortable for me and um, because of where I've been because of some of my history and I feel that that's okay because um, the divine has revealed to me personally that that is okay with her I had a dream one night many years ago well two or three years ago two years ago <laughs> and uh, I had a dream about the, these uh, women. I was standing in a white room full of light, just bright, clear, pure white light. And um, it was inside some house or something, like a living room, but there was no furniture. And there were windows everywhere. And then there were these 12 women and they were just sta standing there in sort of a, a crescent moon half circle before me and they were all cloaked in white and they had hoods and it was kind of like Lord of the Rings style um, cloaks you know and um, they they had like long hair and the, the leader of them this one woman she was like middle-aged and she had blue eyes and long wavy dark hair like that went to her waist and um, she came and she just stood in the center of them and she walked toward me really slowly and she reached out her hands like this like it was an invitation to me to come and join them and I woke up and I was like who are these women I really want to know and I felt this um, 
I just felt like I was going to meet them in my life. Um, and I felt that they were spiritual beings. Um, or perhaps not spiritual beings completely, um, but people of a very spiritual nature who I was going to meet who were going to mentor me in my journey. I don't know. But um, the, the leader, the woman, she was a sort of symbol uh, of the goddess. and I talked to her um, a little while after that and I said, look, how is this okay for me to be a Christian and see you as being female? 